Good morning. Bloody hell, that's dark. Oh, that's better. It's a massive shout out to Milwaukee. That is so bright. Jesus. Right, massive shout out to Milwaukee. They sent me some bits to try out, their winter survival kit. Um, I've got some lights, etc. We'll have a look at those today. But if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of the packages, head over to the website. Click the link in my description. Head over to the website. All you've got to do is sign up. You're going to win a package worth thousands of pounds, and they've got lots of runners-up prizes. That is one of the lights they've sent me that we're trying out today. And we're also trying out this big fella today. So, yeah, we're going to go and get James. We've got a garage to do today. So it's freezing today. So hopefully um, we'll be able to keep warm. Um, they were actually going to send me a uh, hoodie, but unfortunately they haven't got any in stock. Um, I'm not sure. They're very popular, so <laughs> I could have been warm today and James would have been cold, but who knows. We head over to get James. We've got to go to the wholesalers to get a lot of bits, uh, and then we head to the job and we'll have a look. <sighs> Jesus, I've got two jumpers on. James is keeping his mask on because he's freezing cold. So here we go. Here's the garage. Here's one of the lights they've sent me. I've got it on charge, so we'll have a look in a minute. But... um. This is typical new build again. We've got a 2.5 incomer coming into a switch spur. Literally does a socket and a light. Okay, so we've got we're gonna we're limited to 13 amps. We know that this is the light which is fused the lights down. Look, it's probably a three amp fuse in there. We're gonna um, keep that. We've got to add a switch in over here for some two way light in. We've got to add two strips strip lights in here. James is gonna get on those in a minute for me. I'm going to get on with the power. So we've got to add another socket in over in this corner. We're going to add a socket over in near the workbench here. And then hopefully we're going to add a socket in here. I've just noticed a big fridge freezer in here and this bloody thing. So I will warn the client that loading might be an issue, but they know that it's on a 13 amp um, fuse connection unit in the house. So we're going to set up, we're going to warm up and we're going to get on with it. I've been to the wholesaler, it's got all my bits. Picked up this floodlight we're gonna to try today. We've got some black conduit, white conduit to do. Um, got some zinc spray for a little project that I'm doing. And we've got these nice ridge, double metal clad sockets to put in. So we're going this high with the sockets because obviously client's got step ladders and then he's got his bench over there and then the fridge freezer over there. So we don't want it to hit the um, side there. James is getting on with these lights. One there, one there. We're going to flip this one on the front. Um, and then we are going to wire these sockets. Literally just going to be a radial from where it comes in. So radial to there, along, probably run it along this back edge here, over there, and then along that beam over to there. That's going to be 2.5 mil radial. Right, we're not trying to protect against premature collapse in here because we've got this wood. What I will say is we are putting metal clad sockets. So if there is any chance of this cable to come down, obviously if it melted, it would sag because I'm going to put plastic clips. But what I'll do is on, on each corner of these, I'll put one of those metal knocking clips. So at least it's something. So if the cable was to melt, it's not going to hang and fall this way. Um, it's going to be held up there and it's going to be held in by the metal clad um what's i gonna say i think it's pointless in here it's a garage to be honest it's an outbuilding um so if there is a fire within 10 minutes the roof's going to be falling in so it's it's quite pointless but we'll, we'll do it anyway james good yeah. job good job right james has put up the carcasses for the led lights he's undoing the switch for me we've got our conduit drops in We've leveled them up, lasered them up. Um, I'll just show you those clips, actually. The clips we're going to use for the metal premature collapse onto wood. Seems pointless, but we'll do it anyway because we can. One, two. So they're the metal clips, just basically um, replicate the plastic ones, yeah. Just been invited to quote for a job, James. What do you think my reply is going to be? Eh? Definitely, I'm definitely going to go and do that one. Right, we just we picked up this. Um, it's actually got a remote control with it, um, which is pretty cool, isn't it? So it's a microwave sensor rather than a PIR. It's going to go above the garage outside. Um, what else can I show you? Got my switch drop in. Got my sockets all ready to go. We're going to wire this in a sec. James is going to put the outside light up for me. 
and I'm going to kill the power. I've got to find some white stuffing glands because what we're going to do, this cable comes to this horrible junction box. We're going to pull him back. He'll come along to our first light. We'll wire along because we're going to move this light. We'll then wire back across to that light. That sorts the lighting out and then the power will just run around at high level. absolute beast and it's the perfect time to use it because we are um we're in the dark now aren't we yes so this comes up this comes up i'm really doing this product justice because there we go look at that this goes in the bottom i think like that and then we just here. Jeez, that's good, isn't it? That's good, yeah. Oh. Not what I like about this, we can actually use this for putting the tripod on with a camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That is absolutely bloody awesome. Are you um James, you cold? No. <laughs> He's cold and it's raining. What we need to do is cut that cable tie off, mate, and we'll poke the cable up behind that fascia. Yep. And hopefully it's long enough we can put a junction on the inside. I'm just checking James's lights with a, with a laser, look. Bang on. And that one's four foot, which I'm moving. It'll come to me, obviously it'll be short that way, but I'm not worried about that. And then the flex, whoever's wired these previously, this black flex, I will clip that up a bit better. It'll just come into the end cap of this light here. Um, yeah, it's going all right, to be fair. We, we ended up coming through the middle of the fittings because me being me, I haven't got any um, white glands. Yeah, I can't think of everything. Yeah, whatever, say what you want, I don't care. So we've gone through the center of the timbers. This original light fitting is, um, it rhymes with crap. So just put it that way. Yeah, you know what manufacturer it is. Why the how? They have this, there's no earth connection. And then they have this weird pull up thing. So you can't even get this cable in nicely. Even if I clipped it along there, you can't, allow for the slack because this thing comes out. It's just absolute junk. So I'm going to dress these as best I can. I've then got to come out the other end cap to pick up that black flex. Um, and then our cables are obviously running, I'm trying to keep them as neat as we can, obviously. Running along the joist there, clipped along. Running along the top of there and then down to that one there. But these are so much better, these retrofit T8s with the LED um, lamps. Just stuck that other light on that. Like daylight. Oh God! And he got a little dimming mode on him. He's also got a magnet and a um, got like a weird spring clip that would grip that shelving. To be fair, if you wanted it to, but we'll just sit him on there. Um, I'm gonna take this one in the loft. And James can use that um, that beast over there. Look, it's actually taller than him. That one. It's not really. It's five foot. What is it? Five foot. What am I? No, yeah, so, yeah, it's five foot. That's about where I am, isn't it? Yeah, five foot. All right. All right, long shanks. <laughs> so here's my cable coming up from the light, last light down there. These are all going to be switched together. He's coming up. We're going to put a batten holder up here. One to light this area. I think I've got six watt lamps. We're just going for a batten holder like that so the, the client can maintain if they go, yeah, up here. I'm not too worried about light, bright lights. That's it, mate. Four screws. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Um, I'm just running another cable to link. I've got this nice timber here to clip to. So we'll clip on top, run along, and then we're going to put another light up there. A little tip for you. Um, obviously, batten holders have got back entry. So if you put a clip behind, two clips, gives you the perfect spacing gap for one mil cable to go through and not be squashed, yeah? Right, we're just about ready to switch on the lights. James, do you want to? Wow, so right, isn't it? Buddy, lovely. Three lights, one existing, two existing, one over the bench, and then we got our, have a look, got our lights up in the loft, look. One in there, and one LED up there. Right, that's done. Now we've got some lights back on. We're gonna get free core chucked up here. I say chucked up, installed along Probably going to try and get it along the rafters along here and then we also need to get i've poked the i think you can see it actually there is it 
it is. There's a cable. There it is. That's the floodlight. See that black flex there? That's the floodlight cable. So we're going to have to put a box up there. And then we're going to get these um, 2.5s pulled around quick. And then that should be us done today, hopefully. But we are back here tomorrow to do some bollard lights. We've got some lights to do along this lovely wall around the other side. We've got a hive to do. But never do a hive on a Friday because it always go wrong. Tomorrow is Friday, obviously. Right, we're just wiring this um, radial down. Not radial. Yeah, it is a radial. But midpoint this is. Okay, that's the that's second socket. First one's over there. We've clipped them in. And then we've we've put some of these metal fix-ins. I know they're into wood, but it's it's something, isn't it? There's one along there. You can probably see them along there, and then one on the end. So we're just gonna run this now across the top of the rafters along there. Um we could the trouble is if I go in here, I can't clip it, so I'm gonna have to go here. I have to go on here and here. Um supported every what of these 500, so it's better than nothing. Right, this is where we're at. James is going around now, second fixing all the sockets. As you can see, I've got my cable now clipped up. This is the first uh, cable that comes out of this original socket. What I'm doing is banging another conduit up here because this effectively will be just the lighting conduit. James has kindly pulled me in a um, 2.5, a two core on earth. It's cold, it's going to my brain, I can't think. Two core on earth, that's going to go to the floodlight. Okay, that'd be a, like an on off um, switch for it. And this is just a bit of two way, so we've got three core, a three core on earth. Um, dodgy end on it. That's a three core on earth, so he's going to go over and go to the new two way switch, uh, which is located over there. Um, I don't think I've got a switch to fit on there. I might, I might just, um, what I'll end up doing is, is bolting another switch here, metal clad, and then we'll just put a two gang switch on it. This will just be, I'll probably get an unswitched for this. Um, because we're not using this as obviously the lights anymore and there's the laser beam <laughs> i heard james stop working then because it went dark he got a bit scared i think <laughs> right people don't like it when i say bad naughty things about people that done crap work but the socket could do with um could have done with metal clad to be fair to match that and um he could have put a grommet on there that's all that is all I'm saying. He could have put a grommet on there. Right, two-way lighting. If you just put your brown in the common and whatever you want to put here, look, I've done it as um, black, black brown L1 and then grey L2. Doesn't matter. Replicate it at the other end. Put your switch line on one of them and it will be hunky-dory. So obviously fly lead on these because we've got metal clad here. I think from what she says is that the fan isolator is broken. I don't know. Something to do with that. Anyway, we are back in the little lofty bit. And um, this is that floodlight. He comes up there, look. I'm going to leave this because obviously um, on floodlights, they got the pivot. So we don't want to pull this tight because it would never be able to pivot down or up, yeah? So all I've done here is got me 221s two, two and then I've got me 221 two, box. Um, you've got the three slots on these ones too. You haven't got to put those inserts in the 222 two, two boxes, I think it is. Because obviously fatter the 222s. Two, two, um, he's just going to sit up there and then I'll fix him with that little little lug there and he'll just slide basically he'll be sat like that. I'll show you actually. Let me let me do it and I'll show you it. Two ones in there in the cable gripper. Now, now snap him shut. I'm not going to put the cable tie on there because this isn't got to be maintenance free because it's accessible. And then you just screw that lug there. And he just it's going to sit there. What I will do is pull this back here. And I'll just put a cable tie on there. So that's still got a bit of movement, but obviously it's just a little bit restricting on the cable there. I'll probably put a clip. Pass me one of them uh, white clips, mate, actually. Two white clips. And I'll just clip that just there. I, uh, I haven't got any metal clad. Um, so I tried to drill that out, look. That's what happens to that. James, clear that up. <laughs> getting dark now, James, getting dark. Right, we've got a bit of two-way lighting going on. I'm trying to explain to you, we've got our uh, earths and our neutrals. So we've got a neutral for the flood, neutral for the lights in the garage, and a feed neutral, so three neutrals. And then we've got some two-way, obviously we've got some two-way um, going on as well. Um, 
free call from the free call on Erk over there goes in the common. And obviously I'll put me black in my L1 with a switch or feed, whichever you want to do. And then the switch line goes in the other one. And then this is just the, the flood switch line. That one there is a flood switch line with a feed, okay? So he's going to get screwed back. I'm not sure if I'm happy with this plastic and metal, so I might just end up getting all metal clad tomorrow, changing that one, which I wasn't going to change, but I might do. And I stuck a grommet on there for him, but I might change it. We're back tomorrow to do some more bits, and I might change it. If I don't like it, I'll sleep on it. If I don't like it, I'll change it. Wee woo! Microwave sensor. James has been playing with the little, the little buttons and that. He's set that. Our client's going to have that anyway. Right, we're just labelling this up. Obviously, he's switched for tonight. I'm labelling it up for the client, but probably going to change this for an unswitched anyway. Unswitched with a free amp. That's our controls. This is for the garage here. And then we got flood. We will label that up. We have to put them on two minutes. I'm actually really impressed with those microwave sensor ones. Really nice that you've got the remote control rather than trying to fiddle underneath it under a PIR. It's just really nice. You can set it five seconds, do your walk test, eight metres, uh, eight metre distance on that. He's already plugged his fridge freezer in. Um, all the sockets are on. We just need to go round, do a little bit of uh, testing, do the earth loops. Um, the client jumped in here and plugged it in, so that isn't me. <laughs> He's, I have put me Martin tail in it quickly to check it. But um, definitely this is going to have to be changed. Just looks a bit naff, but that's life. But So have, have you got that label? What are you, looking, what are you trying to spell? What are you trying to spell? I got it right, don't worry. Isolate at house before removing cover. 52. Yes, fine. Yeah. And then I want one, mate. I want one to say garage, lights, garage, and then flood, yeah? We'll just stick it on the actual... If you do it downwards on the labeler, do it down. Yeah, there's a there's an option in there to print downwards. There's a cheers. So I'm just obviously going to put that one on there because we've got the lighting cables running through this box. But obviously this only this does the power for this, but this fuses this down. So it's the same pretty much before. Um, but we need you need obviously sort of isolate the house to get this to die completely. Yeah, if that makes sense. Sound like an absolute divvy. <laughs> oh. Jesus, that's um I think that one's a bit big, James. Just about. Put it like that, it'd be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah. I want it on the switch. So it can't be very big, mate. Twenty mil? Twenty-eight or not too big. Try it, print it off and I could even, I could probably trim it down a bit, but that's definitely too small. You need bigger than what you've given me, yeah? That's gonna be bigger than that, mate. Bigger. Bigger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> very i doubt it very very much but i've been watching big clive and he's making a um he's making a christmas um like decoration so i was going to buy one the other day but it was sold out so i've got some freddie bar in the um i picked up from cef's the other day i'm gonna i'm pretty good at welding well i'll say that it's like pigeon poo but i'm gonna make a tr uh try two triangles and make a nice big um uh like start on the side of the house so i just picked up some zinc spray to zinc up me um me wows obviously because it's going outside on the side of my house so it'd be like a big star leading to Bethlehem <laughs> well we think we're done on this one we, we're we sort of second fixed um, to a point there we're going to probably change that tomorrow anyway obviously you won't be back tomorrow with us this will be on a different video but um, yeah it's gone alright we, it's a bit later than we wanted what's the time mate Five. Yes. We didn't start here till we didn't start here till what? Um, when did we start here? T Ten. Ten. Yeah, we had to go and get all the bits from Oxford, and then we um, tomorrow we got to do a job in Banbury first, and then come back here. So again, I think it's going to be another five o'clock finish. Um, right, we will see you on the next one. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't moan about the adverts. If you moan about the adverts. Just don't watch the videos. <laughs> See you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.